Hi Breasties, thank you so much for joining me today. So today we are talking about periods. My name is CR LaShawn, just in case you're new here, just in case you're new, welcome. Welcome, 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 and welcome back to everybody who has been here before. I like to call everyone my Breasties because we talk about breastfeeding and nursing and pumping, but we're also such a loving, great community. That's what I wanna build here. So let's talk about periods because I heard this rumor that when you get your period, you lose your milk supply and then you get your period and you can't breastfeed anymore. And I knew that this is a rumor and I had to come on here and tell you that this is a rumor, this is a myth, this isn't true, it's baloney. Because I got my period maybe two or three months after I gave birth. I got my period way faster than most people. If you know anything about my journey, then you would know that the first three months of her life I had to pump. During that time of pumping, I did end up getting my period. Did my milk supply decrease? Honestly, I don't know because I was just so involved and so committed to pumping that I just pump, pump, pump. And I think I had just assumed that maybe my period came back because I was pumping. I honestly don't know, but it did come back and it's been back ever since. My milk supply is still here. I wanted to film this video to let you know that if you think that you have to stop breastfeeding, no, keep going going sis keep going breasty because I I just believe that's a rumor here's the thing I did do some research because I had to come on here and give you guys some value listen if you're new here I have to give a little disclaimer okay first of all biggest disclaimer is this channel is for women who desire to breastfeed and women who love to pump right who who pump too but really for women who desire to breastfeed and pumping is breastfeeding second disclaimer is I am not a medical professional The return of your period has little effect on your breast milk. So, whoosa, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You got your period. Don't think that you have to stop breastfeeding. Have you heard that before? Let me know in the comments below. So, WebMD says that due to prolactin decrease, your supply, milk supply, may slow down, may drop just a little before a few days into your period. If you do notice, which is crazy because I never even noticed, and maybe this is like a thing, but I just, I am like one of those people who are just so unaware sometimes of their body. A few days into your menstrual cycle, you might notice a drop because of your lower prolactin levels but your milk will increase when hormones return to their normal levels I also read on WebMD that your breast milk may be saltier than usual. So if you notice that your baby is not really wanting the breast as much while you're on your period, again, something I never noticed. But it, I'm not saying it didn't happen or it doesn't happen or it doesn't happen to me. I just really am so unaware. So now that I know this, I'm gonna be looking out for it. But for you, if you notice that your child is not really as excited at the breast or really weird at the breast, maybe it's because it just doesn't taste the same because it says that sometimes on your period your breast milk is more salty but here's the thing that i really want everyone to get from this video there's so much blog there's so much information out there and experiences out there of women who don't get their periods for like a long time so it did make me feel a little abnormal i'm not gonna lie when i got my period i was like why am i getting my period all of a sudden but i just kept pumping because that's just what i wanted to do i didn't want to lose my supply and i didn't notice a decrease in my milk but i did think it was weird that i got my period while i was breastfeeding because I was told that you don't get your period while you're breastfeeding. What I learned from that and what I hope you learn from this, if this is what you're experiencing, is that everybody's different. Everybody is different and everybody, literally body, all bodies are different. So my biggest advice to you and to me is that when we are on our periods to just drink more water. Keep drinking water. Don't freak out. You're like, oh my god, I have low milk supply. Oh my god, my baby's not taking the breast. Listen, a solution to that is just drinking water. I know that it sounds really cliche, but it's cliche because it works. It's water. Water is literally the cure for just about everything. Unprofessional medical opinion. Water is often like you're told like your body needs water. I think that if you notice like a dip in your milk supply while you're on your period or you notice that your child is not really desiring your breast milk while you're on your period drink some water because maybe that water might dilute the saltiness also the water can definitely make sure and maintain your milk supply and perhaps increase it as well does that make sense i know it's kind of 
personal and you might be like girl i'm not gonna put my business out there like that like i'm just wondering if there was anybody else if there's anybody else that's watching this who's also experienced getting your period while you've been breastfeeding i know i can't be the only one i know i'm not the only one because webmd said i mean it happens all women are different so if you're one of those cool few i don't know how cool it is to get your period <laughs> <laughs> like I think I probably would have been okay without getting it but then again I don't think it's healthy to not have a period for a long period of time either so I already don't have your period for nine months or seven months for me because I wasn't pregnant that long but I mean I'm not mad because I got my period <laughs> so what do you think like have you did you tell us your story so we don't feel like abnormal people if you did get your period let's stick together period breasties thank you guys so much for joining me today as you notice it's a lot quieter because I don't have Avia for my newbies Avia is my daughter and she's funky she's awesome she's a year and a half about to be two growing before my eyes and she does still breastfeed and I love it subscribe to my channel if you like this content if you like to laugh if you like to talk about breastfeeding if you like to talk about nursing if you like to talk about motherhood also if you like beauty because I do post some videos about hair and makeup I really am passionate about talking about breastfeeding so if that's something that you want to see more of like this video subscribe comment thank you so much for clicking my channel I love you guys so much I'll see you guys later subscribe turn on that notification bell I'll see you later